everybody welcome back so i am completely barefaced i am in my pajamas relatable i think you forgot to film the intro to this video so that is what i'm going to do now this video is so so long it took me so long to edit and so long to film but it was totally worth it because i feel very clean and organized now but today's video is another declutter but this one's got a bit of a twist it is a declutter but it's also like a clean out because I've cleaned out my drawers, wiped them, and just made everywhere nice and clean and hygienic. But today's video is a collab, and it is a collab with my really good friend, Malika. Now, we have not done a collab video in the longest time, and she suggested it because she needed to sort through her makeup collection and just organise some bits. And she thought, I obviously love doing organising videos, I just love it, and she loves doing them, so she thought, what's better? do a collab so that is what we're doing so i hope you enjoy this video also do not forget to go check her video out it'll be top line of the description and that is a promise because it's a collab i've got more pressure to do the description bar um but yeah hers i'm sure is going to be amazing so i feel mine before hers but it'll go up around the same time so this will be going up in the next couple of weeks um as i'm filming this but yeah i feel so much better for doing this there is actually i wasn't expecting to be getting like decluttering as much as I have but I've really done well so I'm really happy about it because there's been so many new launches and releases especially from Revolution so many more collabs um that I do want to purchase but it would have really cluttered up my drawers so now I've got the space so that's good but yeah if you want to see how I've cleaned out my drawers how many, many makeup products I've got rid of and just if you love watching a declutter then carry on obviously gonna start on top of my Alex 9 drawers and I've got some stains on my hands from swatching some products um, in a previous video but I'm just gonna wipe that because my room has had a massive clean um literally it's been completely like everything's been pulled out it's a autumnal end of summer clean because spiders tend to like coming in in the like autumn going on to winter stage so yeah we've done it a bit early but anyway so I'm going to go through this bit quite quickly because I know what I want to get rid of it's quite simple I have just dusted these so I have done that part of the cleaning and I'm going to put in this box things I want to necessarily if I want to keep them just for sentimental reasons but they're not taking up places in my makeup collection and then in this basket here I'm going to put things to give away and sanitize and things like that so all my baby lips are staying I love peach punch and I love too cool um they're just amazing so all of them are staying I'm keeping my mac lipstick but I'm going to throw this one because unfortunately it's really old and I've used it so much it's the old packaging of the renaissance lipsticks in Vow, and it is really nice I did like it but that's gonna go um I'm keeping stiletto keeping Kate Moss gonna keep my lip sync only because I haven't got anything like it I'm definitely keeping my NYX but I'm going to sanitize and give this away um it is just a collection velvet kiss and it's the same sort of thing as the uh nyx but it's just i've only used it a couple of times and it's nowhere near as good so i'm just going to sanitize that and give that away um my huda beauty mini liquid lipsticks i'm keeping these two in venus and bomb bombshell bombshell but i'm going to give these two away because i've never used these actually on my lips and i just i don't use them and they're such similar similar shades malika very kindly gifted me these um but i just think these two are so much more unique and these two just are very similar and I've got many shades of the same thing so those two can go this is a limited edition MAC product which is the only reason I bought it it's so not my shade but I am going to keep it mainly for the fact it's got such special memories attached so I'm going to keep that but just store that somewhere else and in the back I've just got longer lip products I've got my lip oil which I'm keeping and then three revolution lip products um, I'm going to, this is hard because I like all of these except Noble, which is the matte liquid lip. To be fair, I didn't really get on with these. I tried to keep this one, but that is going. Um, and I've only used it a couple of times once again, but I will just simply sanitise it. Um, oh, sorry, wrong one. Sanitise it and give it away. This one is We Rule and I've used this so much more and I just don't like it and it started separating and it's just not nice so that is going to unfortunately have to go in the bin 
but I'm actually going to keep original because it's such a nice gloss. I don't tend to wear glosses, but if I'm going to have only one gloss in my entire makeup collection, it will be this one. So I'm going to keep that one. And then in my fake drawer, I'm literally going to chuck the fake Huda Beauty liquid lip because it's just, I'm not going to give these away and I'm not going to keep them anymore either. But I am going to keep uh, ginger, but just store it somewhere else. I'm not going to use it on my lips, don't panic, because I know the dangers. I'm just going to keep them in the packaging. And this one, you can tell it's fake because it's actually quite close to the colour, but it hasn't got the name on it. It's supposed to be Dolce, okay? So that, those two can go somewhere but these two, which is Moon, which is actually quite a nice shade, to be honest. I would be interested in buying the real Kylie Jenner products if she could have a UK website where the shipping was nowhere near as expensive as it is getting from the States. Um, but I think it might wash me out, to be honest. And Malibu. They're going. The bottom drawer, nothing is changing. So, yeah. So that is what I've done so far. So in my face drawer, what I'm going to do is, because if you can see, like, for example, in my concealer section is like really dirty at the bottom which is gross so i'm going to time lapse me taking these all out um taking all the makeup products out cleaning the tubs with these super dark facial cleansing ones so i know they're supposed to be for your face but i've used these before and these are really really good so that's what i'm going to use and i'm going to let the tubs dry and then i'm going to go through what makeup i'm going to keep and what makeup i'm going to give away So now I've cleaned everything out, I've actually swapped it round, hopefully it will work. I'm not going to use, hopefully, my iPhone successes box because I just think this gets more grubby and it's a lot harder to clean, I don't know if you can tell. So hopefully I'll be able to manage without it. And if you can hear rain, I'm really sorry, the heavens have opened and it's pouring it down. Um, but putting things back in, definitely keeping this, it's so gorgeous. It's like beautiful. Um, and that's by I Heart Makeup, which is now I Heart Revolution. It's changed, and I'm keeping my two Primark highlighters, Mink Pink and Brunch Club. I use Brunch Club daily. Um, now, I haven't used this in a while. It's the I Heart Makeup um, Goddess of Love, or Goddess of Love Triple Baked Highlighter, but I'm going to keep it regardless because it is a really beautiful product. I'm finally going to give this Revolution Pro Foundation away because I do not use it. I think it's naff. I do not think it claim it does what it claims to do. I may be using it wrong, but I've tried it so many times now. So I'm just going to clean it up and give it away because it's just pointless keeping it. But I'm going to keep this because this is the No Shine Mattifying Foundation from um, New Look. And it really reminds me of the packaging of the NARS Foundation because it's frosted glass. And mine's in the shade Porcelain. have not tried that yet, so definitely keeping that. This has got like a good half a bottle left. It's the My Perfect Colour from Primark and I'm actually going to give this away because I'm going to clean it up obviously because it's a tad grubby but it is well in day and I know that my colleague or Chelsea or whoever I decide to give this to will get so much good use out of it. Probably my colleague because we're pretty much the same foundation concealer shade and I don't use it so. And then I'm going to definitely keep my Dermacol foundation of course and my Revolution stick foundation. So I've only got three foundations now which probably is a lot more reasonable um definitely obviously keeping my revolution pro fix and spray and, and that's in my, my priming section not that i've got many primers if you've got any good mattifying primers or even glowy dewy ones let me know in the comments which ones they are so i can buy them and i can try them um oh yeah i've got this mixing tray which will come in quite handy so that's going to go back in there so concealer wise I'm going to give this away as a Primark one and my colleague loves trying out Primark makeup. She's like me, she her skin doesn't get irritated by it. And as I previously mentioned, we have pretty much the same shade. So that can go to her, but I'm keeping the Revolution Pro Concealer because that is really, really good. I'm gonna keep the Lottie London Got It Covered because I like that for my eyes and the Primark My Perfect Colour because I really, really like that. And the Revolution Concealer and Define because that's amazing. And then the last concealer I actually have in here is this one, which is the Naked Urban Decay, Urban Decay, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. So, and I just feel like this tub will work so much better with my concealers, if I'm honest. And then in this section, 
this is the Summer of Love bronzer, so I'm definitely keeping that because it's gorgeous. I've got the Dandelion Twinkle, which is such a luxury product for me because if you know me, then you know I tend to go for cheap alternatives. This is the Primark Blush in Amaretto. I really, really do like this, and this is the only blush I believe that I've got because this is the only one I like because it's really, really natural. So I am going to keep that just so I have one blush. Um, I've got the Poundland Smoothly Desert Powder. This can go um, to someone because it's never been touched. I do really like this powder. When I first started out with makeup, I literally bought this all the time. It smells like sun cream, which some people might not like, but I love the smell because <laughs> I'm weird. Um, I've got the Judah Hula Mini, which I'm going to give away because I don't ever use it because I don't tend to use liquid products, like liquid face products on myself. I've got some face products, so MAC Mineral Skin Finish, MUA, Stay Matte Powder, all staying, of course. Um, there's no hesitation in my mind about that. And then I've got my bronzing products, of course, that are definitely staying. So, yep. And then I've got this, which is a Body Shop Priming, it's an Instant Matte Mattifying Compact universal so it's meant to be for any skin tone it's supposed to be like a really good um sort of i don't have to describe it but it's like a priming compact and i haven't tried that yet so i'm gonna give that a go So, to my eye drawer, it doesn't look very clean, but I have just cleaned it. Bits are just welded on these tubs, to be honest. Um, these are just some makeup tools that can see return to where they were. So, I'm going to start with mascaras. I will be buying a new one of these, but this is the Isla, and I love it. And then my oh, I only have four mascaras, well, technically only three. The Total Temptation by Maybelline, if you know me, you'll know it's one of my faves. But I've got a new one. So this is going to go in my empties collection. So the brand new one can be used. And I've got the Maybelline Lash Sensational, which I do really like. Um, to glitters. No, I do love myself for glitter. Um, this one is from MAC. And I bought it to be so out there. Which was a waste of my money. But a benefit to someone that I know. Because they can get it. It's called Turquoise. I wouldn't say that's Turquoise at all. But yeah, that can go. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest. But I've got MAC... Uh, res reflects transparent teal and my favourite one that I've got from MAC which is Kitschmas, it is just so gorgeous so those two can definitely stay and then I've got what else have I got in here I have my Barry M ones which are once again lovely um, but I don't know what I was thinking when I bought 108, I really do not know um, but number 7 and number 44 are lovely like number seven is like a bit of a deeper but color but a dupe to the mac one but yeah <laughs> this one can go because i'm never going to use it because it makes me look really really pale so i honestly don't know what i was thinking i think i've got some primer glitters there's the silver one out. here it is i've got a pink one and a silver one i absolutely love these so they can definitely stay i've got a body glitter so now the summer's pretty much over um pretty much if you can hear the rain outside i'm gonna put that in a drawer like my backup makeup drawer and stuff because obviously i'm not going to need it right now i've then got my revolution glitters which i'll talk about in a minute but for my primark ones that always go at the back love these so very very much they're pigments but i think they're quite glittery especially the lighter shade um is there anything else to go in the drawer oh yes adhesives so i've got my glitter fixer gel from barry m which is for body glitters and then i've got my nyx glitter primer for your eyes so i'm going to keep this in this drawer but put my body adhesive one in my backup makeup drawer because i'm not going to be using it now um okay i think that's actually everything for that drawer now except for my revolution glitters so i've got grand gesture which my blooming love it's one of my faves and i've got oh i've got no excuses which is also amazing interrupted and last dance which probably is so similar to the primark one and i'm not gonna lie i prefer the primark one so i'm gonna say oh that this one can go primark moods 
eyeshadow creams I love but I won't be really be using in videos because I don't think you can get them anymore but I love that one I don't know about this one what shade is this in daydream I need to remember to use this one. no that can go actually but it's such lovely packaging like for Primark it's really really nice um this one from Kiko can definitely go because I never use it and it's just not my kind of thing I've got this eyeshadow cream from Primark it's from their like more basic range in Aphrodite such a great eyeshadow base love it so that can stay um and then it's really just stick products and rollables really that are going back in here now because I've got most of my thingy so I've got two Primark ones which are actually really pretty I've got this one for Malika for our swap um and then I've got Chanel, Kiko, Glam Crystal, the brow crayon which I have tried and I really really like I got that for Christmas um so yeah brows I'm going to get rid of this this can just go in the bin it's so old and I don't use brow powders anymore or if I was to I'd invest in a better quality one because that's just so old now um brow sort of multi-purpose product from elf love it it's quite dark it's very intense you need a very little amount let me just tell you but it is really nice and then I've got my Rimmel brow pencil I've got a backup and I've got a really really small knocked up one now because I use it all the time and my elf eyeshadow primer so that is it for brows and then just back into my little cubby hole of little simple eyeshadows don't have many of but I'm keeping all of the ones I do have so my eyeshadow drawer doesn't need much cleaning actually to be fair so this is more of a decluttering drawer um and i'm gonna start over this corner now i i used to love this palette it's a bit battered um but i'm actually gonna give it away because i don't use it anymore i found alternatives because i mainly just used it for this white in a corner shade so i'm just gonna give that away um my revolution palettes are all staying i've got the pro palette i've got the soap palette this is her first one there are so many other revolution collab palettes that i want to get so i will be soon got my three reloaded palettes which i'm keeping all of because i really like them my golden bar and my halloween palette from revolution which i'm keeping Carly Bybell, which I swear has been discontinued, is looking very sorry for itself now, but I love it. Nudes palette from Primark. Once again, this is another alternative. Like, I like, love this shimmer. It's so intense. Um, this palette I've been umming and ahhing about, but I still never touch it. So this can finally go um, because I'm not going to keep something that I never use because that's just pointless and such a waste. Um, in here... I've got so many little palettes. I've got the two little Huda Beauty dupes from Primark and the Passions and Berry Velvet. Love this palette, it's stunning. Haven't tried this yet, I'll be doing a testing video at some point. I've got my little little travel palette, which I love from I Heart Revolution. This Kiko palette can go. It's actually quite disappointing. I was expecting good things, but it's actually really crappy. Um these eye pigments. Now I'm going to keep only one i'm gonna keep this one here because it's such a gorgeous color but these two i'm just never gonna use i'm just never gonna do it so they can go but there we go that's a lot more looks a lot more neat so i like that and then i've got my two big primark palettes i've got the berry palette and the amber palette i'm not a fan of the amber palette i just don't see the pigmentation so that can definitely go to someone now the berry palette is literally just a longer version and so is the amber palette of the amber passion and the berry velvet and these are a lot more travel friendly but for now i am going to keep this one because i do really like the pigmentation in it and then once i've tried the um, the berry velvet i will choose whether i like the berry long palette more or the small palette and then i'll decide which one to get rid of there's only a pound difference in price because these are three and these are four um but that is literally everything for that drawer Draw is literally never touched as my more expensive palettes so I'm there's nothing really to do here. Just got Urban Decay, Too Faced, Jaclyn Hill, um, my other Too Faced palettes. So yeah, there's literally nothing. In here, I can probably part with a couple, well, actually, I think one thing, to be fair. Um, Becca, I'm keeping. I've explained in many videos and declutters why. Definitely keeping this. If these were magnetic pans, then I could save space and put them in my Pro Artist palette. But these are not magnetic. 
the sort of click-ins, but that's fine because I love the quality, they're amazing. I've got my soap, got my Primark, I've got my Benefit, which I'm keeping, but I'm going to put somewhere, so it's like, because I want to create a sentimental makeup box, like memory box, because this was the first high-end makeup product I ever received as a Christmas gift, and my granddad helped pitch it in, because obviously I got it before he passed away, so I am going to keep that, but I'm going to move it, because it's got like all their like best sellers and it's a really affordable way to have them but i don't want it taking up space in this drawer but i'm still going to keep it if that makes any sense i've got two face actually now that can go like that and it can go down there and then i've got this tanya bird palette which is so grubby but it is really really pretty but i kept it because i felt like i was going to use it but i'm not reality so that can go um but the rest of it is now pretty organized there's a lot more space which i like i'm not gonna lie so yeah so this is the aftermath i'm left with i was going to include organizing my little drawers um in my chest of drawers and stuff in this video and collab with malika but <laughs> Quite frankly, this video is going to be so long. It's taken me so long to film. I'm feeling a bit delirious from the strength of this studio light. But I hope you enjoyed it. I want you all to be like, rest assured that none of this makeup is going to waste except the old really dingy stuff. Even though this is a bit grubby. Sorry, I just knocked the light. Even though this is a bit grubby, I'll try and tidy up as best as I can. And the good stuff is still going to go to a really good home. If you enjoyed this collab, don't forget to check out Malika's video, which will be linked in the description. She's such a good friend of mine, and it'd be great if you could check out her video. It's been great doing another collab with her. I haven't done a collab video with her for ages, and she suggested it, and I was like, yes. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. Click that alarm bell. Let me know in the comments below if there's any videos you want to see um and if there's any challenge videos you want to see because i'm trying to get my family into doing challenge videos with me so wish me luck on that but let me know in the comments which ones you want to see if i can do them and yeah i'll see you in my next vlog or video whichever one you watch first bye